ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read about Madonna, darling, from Wikipedia. So I don't own the rights to Wikipedia. I'm going to read this one part here, and then I'll finish it off with this part, because I love erotica era for Madonna. You can sort of see her future stuff after this in your own way, because she's done, because she's still around and you can read up on, on your own. But I'm going to read the 1992 to 1997 Maverick, Erotica SCS, Bedtime Stories, and Evita and Motherhood. All right, totally enjoy it. This is going to be good. In 1992, Madonna starred in a league of their own as May Mor Morbabito, a baseball player on an all-women's team. It reached number one on the box office and became the 10th highest grossing film of the year in the U.S. She recorded the film's theme song, This Used to Be Our Playground, which became, became her 10th Hot 100 number one hit, the most of any female artist of all time, of, uh, at that time. So the same year, Madonna sponsored her first retrospective former boyfriend, John Michelle Bucci, at the Whitney, Houston, Whitney Museum of American Art. That she also founded her own entitlement company, Maverick, consisting of record company, Maverick Records, a film production company, Maverick Films, and associated film publishing darling, television broadcasting, book publishing, and merchandising division. The deal was a joint venture with Time Warner and paid Madonna on advance of $60 million that gave her 20% royalties from the music proceedings, the highest rate in the industry at the time, Equated only by Michael Jackson's royalty rate established a year earlier with Sony. Her company later went on to become one of the most successful artists run labels in history, producing multi platinum artists such as Alanis Mor Morissette and Michelle Branch. Upon achieving total artistic control with Maverick, Madonna released simultaneously her fifth studio album, Dog, Erotica, and her coffee table book, SCX, consisting of you know, provocative and explicit images, photographed by Stephen Meisel. The book received strong negative reaction in the media and the general public, but sold 1.5 million copies at, one, at $50 in each in a matter of days. The widespread backlash overshadowed Erotica, which ended up her lowest selling album of all time. Despite positive reviews, it became her first studio album since her debut album, Not to Score, any chart chopper in the US. The album entered the Bill 200 at number two and yielded the Hot 100 top 10 hits, Erotica and Deeper and Deeper. Madonna continued her provocative imagery. In 1993, Erotic Thriller, Body of Evidence. A film which contained scenes as blank and blank, I can't say. It was poorly received by critics. She also started in the film Dangerous Game, which was released straight to video in North America. The New York Times deemed, described the film as angry and painful and the pain feels, feels heat real. In September 1993, darling, Madonna embarked on The Girly Show, in which she dressed as a whip cracking um, dominatrix sur surrounded by dancers that are provocative. In Puerto Rico, she rubbed the island side. Okay, I can't say this, darling. <laughs> Resulting in outrage among the audience. In March 1994, she appeared as a guest on The Late Show with David Letterman using profanity and required censorship on television and handling Letterman a pair of her, you know what, if you saw the video, of the, the interview, and asking him to, okay, I can't even say it, darling. <laughs> the releases of her sexually explicit uh, book, album, and film, and the aggressive appearance of Letterman all made critique question Madonna as a sexual Renegade. Critics and fans re reacted negatively, who com commented that she had gone too far and that her career was over. Around this time, Madonna briefly dated baseball, basketball player Dennis Rodman and rapper Tupac Shakur. A biographer, J. Randall Randy Turabuffarelli, described her ballad, I'll Remember, as an attempt to tone down a broken image. The song was recorded for Alex Kashinson's 1994 film with honors. She made a subdued appearance at Letterman at a Tim Ward show and appeared on the Tonight Show with Jay Leno after realizing that she needed to change her musical direction in order to sustain her popularity. With her sixth studio album, Bedtime Stories, Madonna employed a softer image to try to improve the public perception. The album debuted at number three on the Billboard, 200 and generated two U.S. top hits, Secret and Take a Bow, the latter chopping the Hot 100 for seven weeks, the longest period of any Madonna's legal, something to remember of the collection of battles, which was released in November 1995. The album features three new songs, you'll see, One More Chance, and a cover of Marvin Gaye's I Want You. Okay, so yeah, in 1996, with the musical Evita, Madonna played the title role of Evita Piron. For a long time, Madonna had desired to play Piron and wrote to director Alan Parker to explain why she would be perfect for the part. After securing the role, she received all vocal coaching and learned about the history of Argentina and Piron. During filmmaking, Madonna became ill several times. After finding out that she was pregnant, she the intense emotional effort required from the scenes. Upon a video's release in December 1996, Madonna's performance received praise from the film critics. Zach Corner, 
Connor of Time Magazine remarked it's a relief to say that he did pretty damn fine while cast and has to individualize. Madonna once again compounds, confounds our expectations for this role. She won Golden Globe and the Best Actress in Motion Pictures, Musical, or Comedy. In the Avita soundtrack containing the song mostly performed by Madonna was released as a double album. It includes You Must Love Me and Don't Cry For Me Argentina. The latter reached number one in countries across Europe. Madonna was presented the Artist Achievement Award by Tony Bennett and the 1996 Billboard Music Award. On October 14, 1996, she gave birth to Lourdes Lola Maria Ciccone Leon, her daughter with fitness trainer Carlos Leon. Biographer Mary Cross writes that although Madonna often worried that her pregnancy would har harm Avita, she reached some important go personal goals. Now 38 years old, Madonna had its last travel on the screen and achieved her dream of having a child. Both in the same year, she had reached another turning point in her career, reinventing herself and her image with the public. Her relationship with Carlos Leon ended in May 1997, and she declared that she were, they were better off as friends. All right, guys, so that's Wikipedia for you. If you ever want to find out something, it's not necessarily an accurate source. I mean, you want to get to, like, real sources. It's a good source. I mean, it's got very good information. But if you want to read something and you want to know for sure it's true, I wouldn't go to, I wouldn't go to Wikipedia. I'd go to, like, academic sources. But, but it's a pretty good source. It's pretty good. It's pretty reliable. That was a lot about Madonna, darling. There's too much to handle for you, darling. Madonna's good, right? Erotica era was my era for Madonna. I loved it. Um... Now, Madonna didn't get very much, you know, she got a lot of heat for that era. I think she got a lot of hard times at that era because it was very provocative. But of course, that's my favorite era. But, um, but that's how they often describe things that are over the top, S-E-X-U-A-L-L-Y. But I find those are the things that do the best. But I mean, it says there that she didn't do very well, but who knows? I mean, like, I don't know. It just seems like, it's just like that was her best time, in my opinion. And if this was my life. Bye, everyone.